The floods caused by Storm Daniel in Libya have left more than 11,000 dead and 10,000 missing. The tragedy has shocked the world and highlighted the vulnerability of communities to natural disasters. The floods occurred on September 10, 2023, and mainly affected the city of Derna on the east coast of Libya. Torrential rains caused two dams to collapse, causing a flash flood that devastated the city. The numbers of dead and missing are provisional and are expected to increase as search and rescue efforts continue. Most of the victims are civilians, including children and women. The floods have also displaced more than 40,000 people in northeastern Libya. These displaced people face a critical humanitarian situation as they lack food, drinking water, and shelter. The tragedy in Libya is a reminder of the importance of taking action to address the growing challenges associated with climate change and aging infrastructure. The magnitude of the loss of human life and resulting suffering underlines the need for an urgent humanitarian response and a global approach to address climate-related risks around the world. The floods have also had a significant impact on the health of the population. Nearly 300,000 children who were exposed to the floods are at increased risk of diseases such as cholera, malnutrition, diarrhea, and dehydration. Furthermore, these children also face increasing threats of violence and exploitation amid the humanitarian crisis. Rescuers are working tirelessly to recover the bodies of the victims. However, the task is difficult since most of the bodies are found in water or trapped under piles of mud. The international community has responded to the tragedy with a major humanitarian aid operation. The United Nations has mobilized more than $100 million to help flood victims. The tragedy in Libya is a reminder of the need to take action to address the growing challenges associated with climate change and aging infrastructure. The international community must work to prevent future disasters and help communities that have been affected by them. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like the content, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. You can also follow me on my social networks, where I share news and exclusive content. See you in the next video.